welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing another declutter. I know I recently did one of these, uh, maybe March or so. So that was pre-filmed. However, I intended it to be more of a collection video, less of a declutter. So this time we're going to be a little bit more brutal. I've already filmed it. So we are going to be going over bronzers and blush in this video and I'm super proud of myself. Just spoiler alert, we're going to swatch everything that I have and then we're going to either keep it or declutter it. See some really great numbers. I'm gonna keep this brief so we can hop into that footage. If you like declutter videos, obviously please give this video a thumbs up. I do upload videos twice a week, Sunday and Thursdays, so I hope you stick around for the rest of those. And with that being said, let's jump into me decluttering my bronzers and blushes. All right, so here's bronzers. I don't know if we're gonna be as successful as we were with the lipstick declutter, but we're gonna try our best. I got rid of some last time not too long ago, so we'll see how brutal this is going to be. We are starting with 33 bronzers. So let's just, let's just get started. I'm going to move this over to the side here. Let's try and get it a little bit in frame. Okay. All right, first things first. Let's start with this one. This is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. So I've actually never used this. I'm gonna take my watch off. And I really do want to have heard really good things about this. So I am going to keep this for now. However, this one here, so this is the Pi, the Impossible Glow Bronzing Drops. I'm going to declutter this. This I've also never used, and I want to say it's probably the same kind of concept, but look, it's just so much glowier, and this can go to a better home than where it's at because I've had it for about six months, and I've never used it. I got this for free, I believe, from Colt Beauty and some kind of, like, you spend so much money and get, like, a goodie bag type thing, so this is going to go. Let's do my Charlotte Tilbury ones. So this one is in the shade medium. Try not to blind you with the mirror here. This is what this one looks like. See how light this is compared to this. So I did a review of this kind of recently on my channel. I will link it up above. And this is also in the shade medium. This is the new cream bronzer and they're both in the shade medium and I just find this one so much lighter. I wish that they kind of had just the similar shade range for these two products because it's kind of a shame. I wish I'd gotten light in this one, but I didn't know I had gotten this one first. I was like, okay, medium's pretty light, so I'll just stick with the medium and it's a little bit too dark. And then we have, of course, the infamous contour stick. I was hoping I didn't have to open it, but I do. Looks like this. This is honestly almost empty. And I love this. Everyone loves this. This is a great product. I am going to keep all three of these, especially because they're newer. I do use them and I love them. All right. I kind of want to do all my cream ones together because I don't have too many. I believe that's all of them. So let's just swatch these and see how they compare to each other. This one is the Tarte one in the shade Breezy. Looks like that. We have the Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is the original, not the reformulated one. Looks like this. We have the Elf Putty Bronzer in Tan Lines. I have this in a trying new makeup video. Looks like this. It's actually pretty light on my skin, huh? Hmm. Let me use this one time. We have the Nude Sticks Nudie in Bondi Bay. We have the Tarte, what is this? The Sculptor. 
kind of comes in like this chubby pencil form. And then we have the KKW. This one is in medium and it's the contour stick. So I definitely can get rid of some of these, especially because they're creams. I think I'm for sure gonna get rid of this e.l.f. one. It just, it barely is showing even on the back of my hand. I really, this is not a bad product, just the size of the container makes it really hard to like get your brush into. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm absolutely gonna keep my Chanel one. I can't get rid of that. I do really like this KKW one, like you can see. I mean, this doesn't have a lot of product to begin with, but I do use this quite often. And then that leaves these three. So I'm gonna get rid of this Tarte one. I never use it. And I think I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of this nude stick one. I really try not to support nude sticks anymore. I mean, I'm gonna keep the products that I like because I already purchased them, but this isn't one of them. I never really reach for this. And then the Tarte one, I, I haven't really used that much, but I'd like to get more use out of it. And I do actually like that color. So we're gonna keep that one. I have two butter bronzers. So this one is in the shade light bronze and I've hit pan on it. I absolutely love, love, love this bronzer. I'm gonna keep it. Can't really tell on my hand, but it just looks really nice, especially in the winter. I really wanna finish this up and use a bronzer. So this one's gonna stay. And then this one's in the shade Sunkissed. God, I hate these. <laughs> so this one looks like this. Do you think I'm gonna declutter it only because it's barely been used and this is old packaging. So I know it's already old and it's just sitting there not getting used out of these two. Like I just would rather use this one. I know I love it. And yeah, I mean, that one kind of hurts cause didn't get my money's worth out of it, but this one's gonna go. All right, I have three here. So I have two Becca ones and then I have a Guerlain Terracotta one. So this is in the shade light and then it's O2 Natural Cool. So I bought this shade online and I do really like this. This is my first Guerlain bronzer. It is just a very, very light. I should have swatched it in store. Like you can barely see it on the back of my hand. And I should have gone up. This is where it just gets tough because I thought this would have been a really great shade, but this is, it's a little bit light for me. I am gonna keep it and try and get more use out of it. I just spent a lot of money on it and it's not that old in my collection. I think I got it around Christmas time. So this can stay. And then the two Becca ones I have are Sunrise Waves and Bali Sands. So I've used Bali Sands quite a bit. Like you can see, pretty good dip in it. I feel like none of these swatches show up on my skin. On my face they do, I swear. So there's Bali Sands. I am gonna keep this, love this bronzer. And then Sunrise Waves, it has like these two pieces of highlighter on the sides and I do actually really like this. I don't use a lot of glowy bronzers too much but I do really like this one. And since I can't purchase it anymore, if I have like regrets, I'm gonna keep both. Let's finish up my stack of rounds. We aren't making our way. You can't really see all of them that are in here. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, let's do these three. So I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. Again, with this irritating packaging. I don't think I've used this that much. And it's looking a little bit warm. This one, this one's gonna go. I can't remember the last time I used it. I don't really like it. This Too Faced, this is the Milk Chocolate Soleil. This is old packaging, but again, like I can tell I'm close to pan. You can like see the rings around it. I also really, really love this bronzer. So this one's gonna stay. See which one I can finish first, the butter bronzer or this one. Got a really heavy swatch that, but this one can stay. This Thrives one in Raya. So did I pull this into a shot my stash not that long ago? 
It's powdery. Okay, I'm trying to swatch it really heavy. Ooh, I was going to declutter this, but I kind of like how cool toned it is. And, okay. This is going in the maybe. This is going in the maybe. <laughs> uh, sometimes I hate myself. Let's do these two. So this one I did have in a shop my stash not that long ago. This is the Dior... Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze in the shade two. And I really, really like this. Again, it's a little bit light for me now and it looks a little bit orangey on camera, but it's really pretty on the skin. I really liked this a lot. And then this L'Oreal Lumi Bronze it. This is, is there a shade to this? I don't think so. Yeah, zero one light. This is maybe my favorite bronzer ever dare I say does it swatch good I mean I swatched it heavy but I love how it kind of has like cool neutral tones this is the kind of bronzer I just lean towards this is just a really good bronzer I'm keeping it I love this a lot I think it's super underrated let's do these two big daddies here so this is the Chanel Le Beige Maxi Oversized Healthy Glow Sunkissed Powder in Medium. I literally, this is the last bronzer that I've purchased. So this is absolutely gonna stay. It's just a big version of their normal bronzer. And I really like the tone. I really think this is really pretty. I think my skin's just kind of wet from my wet makeup wipe. So it's kind of not swatching great, but super flattering. Love that it came in this big size. And then this is the ever so talked about Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. So I know this is really popular. I bought it because it was so popular, but I don't know. I never got into this bronzer and I'm just debating because like it looks cool tone. Like it absolutely looks like a bronzer I really enjoy, but for some reason, I just never reach for it. Maybe I need to put it in a shot my stash. It still smells fine. I mean, it's a powder. This is also gonna go in my maybe. I kind of was leaning towards decluttering it, but I think it's gonna go in the maybe and we'll just see where we're at with numbers. All right, I feel like we're making much faster progress than the blush. So I have these two little benefit ones. I have Hula Light and Hula. So you can tell I've like never even used this. Hula Light, that's just way too light for even me. So this is gonna go. Hula, uh, like I know this is a really popular bronzer and again, it like swatches nice, but I just like never reach for it and I'd rather keep like the Marc Jacobs one, I think, than this one. So this one's gonna go. I also have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is in medium deep, so it's not the milk one, it's this one. To be honest, like I always use this as an eyeshadow. Where's the other one? Let's swatch it against this so you can see the milk versus just the normal. You can't really even tell. I think I'm gonna keep this one actually, surprisingly. I like this like small little size. I think it's great. I do have like a dip in it. So let's see if we can get more use out of this one. All right, I have two from Kevin Aquan. So I have the sculpting powder in light. Looks like this. Let's put it here. I do really like this, again, it's a small size. I use this to contour my nose sometimes, so this can stay. And then this is the Celestial Bronzing Veil in Tropical Nights. Man, I used to be all about this. You can even see just like how, it used to kind of have like this ombre effect. And I used to really, really love this, but part of me thinks it's like past its time. It's very, very glowy. It's probably the glowiest bronzer that I have. I'm trying to see, it's like not doing it justice. But, okay, this one's going in the maybes. This ColourPop one, I don't even know when I used this last. This is in Private Party. It's not that it's a bad bronzer, just there's so many other ones that I would rather use. So this one for sure we can declutter. 
this hourglass one this is in luminous bronze light so this is just a little mini i let's see i ooh. so i have a few face palettes from hourglass like their holiday palettes i'm just going to check them really fast and see if i have this shade because if i do then i'm going to get rid of it so hold please okay so i do have this in one of my face palettes so there's no point in me hanging on to this if i really really want it which i never reach for it it i can go reach for that palette so that can go we have three left. So this is the Chanel Healthy Glow Sheer Color Powder. So I spoke about this recently in my ranking Chanel foundations. This is technically a powder foundation and I wear the shade B30 in all of Chanel bronzers. So I got the powder in B30 and it is just way too dark for me. I'm going to actually put this back with my powder foundations because I have the Aqua Vita Lumiere foundation and that one I have in B20. So it's a shade lighter for me. So I'm gonna test it out and see if I wear that foundation with this powder, if maybe it matches me better. So this one's just gonna move drawers. We're gonna take the count from 33 to 32. Two left, so we have the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium. I was nervous about this because I just heard that it was way too luminous and I didn't find that to be the case. I actually found this to be really nice on the skin. I liked this bronzer a lot. And again, it's just, it's one of my newer ones. So this one can stay. And then this Tarte one, this is in Park Avenue Princess. This is a cold classic bronzer. I mean, it was very popular for a time. However, I think this one's just past its time. It's this cooler tone bronzer. I hate to get rid of it, but it really, it really just is. It's past its time. I never reach for it, so it's gonna go. All right, I am going to reorganize my drawer and then we're gonna go over the maybes. So hang tight. All right, so we have 18 currently and we've decluttered 11. So that is actually so much better than I thought it was going to be. We still have, oops, we still have these three maybes. So I have to at least get rid of one of these. And so I'm just deciding. I, I told myself I was gonna get rid of this. I don't know why I'm like hanging on to it because I swatched it. I think I'm gonna keep the Marc Jacobs and I think I'm gonna keep the Kevin Aquan. That sounds good to me. All right, we're gonna have to rearrange this now a little bit more. So that brings total count from 32 because we took out the Chanel one. So now there are 20 bronzers and I decluttered 12. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I don't know what those numbers are <laughs> to the rest of you guys, how that is, but I'm feeling really good about these numbers. Let's now move on to blush. Here we are with blushes. All right, let's just get started. We have a few more blushes than we do bronzers. So we are starting with 48 blushes and we really, we really just need to pare this down. So let's move this drawer over and get started. So let's start with some of the cream ones. I'm just gonna pull them out. 
This is a liquid that counts. Take this. I think this is cream. That's a cream. 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 This is the bulk of the creams. All right, let's start with these little paint ones. So I have two of the cloud paints. One is in beam and then the other is in dusk. So beam looks like this. And dusk is not even opened. So I'm actually, I'm not gonna swatch this. I've had these cloud paints for quite a long time and then here's this flower beauty one in nectar pinched so pinched in flower beauty and then beam in the cloud paint i know these cloud paints are super super popular and i don't doubt that they're a good formula but based on the fact that this is never opened and I've had it since before I left the United States. This just, this needs to go. And I probably used this one time. So this is going to go as well. The Flower Beauty one, I will keep. I did have this in a shop my stash and I did really like it. And I do like this tone a little bit better. So this can stay. Speaking of which, I also, I use this Milani one, I want to say, in like a trying new makeup, and I really liked it. So this Milani one can stay. This is in Nude Kiss. I don't know if I would say that's nude, but okay. This is a Chanel stick bronzer. This is in the shade number 23. This is one of the Le Beige blushes. And I'm gonna keep this because it was expensive. I like the tone, it's a great blush. It's not that old. This NARS liquid blush, this is in the shade Luster. I bought this because from a YouTube video and God, I don't even think I used it. I mean, the shade is really pretty. This one I think is gonna have to go in the maybes. We're just gonna see how many we have because I do want to give this a shot. I just, I haven't reached for it in so long. So in the maybes it goes. This Galactic one, this is in the shade Rose and it looks like this. Not very great packaging. This is very similar to the Milani one, but I don't really like the shade of that. So this one can go, don't know when the last time I used this. Nude sticks, this is in Sunkissed. And does everyone always open the brush side or is it just me? This doesn't even look used. It's definitely like a bronzer blush. And I do think I'm actually gonna keep it. That's a really pretty shade. And yeah, I like that a lot. This e.l.f. one is in the shade Turks and Caicos. Um, this is just really light. Here it is here. So I'm not really a fan of like this really baby pink. I'd much prefer this one. So I think this one can go. And then last one is Beaches and Cream from the Tarte. And this is very melty. Hmm, this is gonna go in the maybe, I think, because I haven't really given it a shot. So let's see how many I have left. Let's do these three big ones. They're taking up the most space and then move all this down so you can kind of see it in a frame. There we go. Can I do it? All right, there we go. All right, this is one of the Tarte blush books. This is who knows which one, but it has 10 blushes, maybe a highlight. I, God, I don't even think I've used this. I do think I'm gonna keep it. Well, 
just deciding. I'm gonna keep it. I think I can get some use. We'll pull into a shop my stash, maybe get some use out of it. This NARS Claudette one, absolutely love this. Uh, you should see it in my description box quite often. It is just a really pretty blush palette. It doesn't look like much on the swatch, but it actually, it's just really subtle. It has like the perfect amount of sheen to it. I love, love this palette. And the butterflies definitely help. This BH Cosmetics Vanilla Peach Truffle. So this has four blushes in it. And I think I actually meant to get a different one. And I got this one on accident. So I do think that I'm going to declutter it. It's not bad. It's just the one that I wanted was not this one. And I wasn't paying attention enough. So this one is going to go. Here are some of the bigger ones kind of taking up space. So this is a Natasha Denona blush duo, and it looks like this. I recently also had this in a shot my stash. The swatches do not do it justice, but this was really, really pretty. I went into it thinking that it was going to be just like a, a final farewell to this palette and I was gonna declutter it at that end of the shot my stash, but I really, really liked this. Only mixed though, like this shade here, I don't even know what that is. It's not a blush, it's not a highlight, but mixed, they are really, really nice. These two Morphe palettes. So I have, let's see, Pop of Coral and Pop of Blush. So these are pretty, I mean like they're not bad to look at, but, have I ever used them? The answer would be no. So that's Pop of Blush. That is gonna go, and then Pop of Coral. Just swatch for you real quick. There's Pop of Coral. It's not bad, the Pop of Coral one's actually really nice, but I've had these again for at least four years. Haven't used them once since being here, so they can go. All right, I have this Jouer Duo in Adore Me. This is a really nice blush palette. Again, like very subtle on the swatches, but the sheen and the color, especially this one, I really, really love. So this one can stay. And then this Milani one is not even opened. So I also have a different Milani blush. This is in Romantic Rose. Does this one have Romantic Rose in it? It doesn't really have the shades on here. So even though this is not opened, I'm going to keep this one because it's really pretty, but I am going to declutter this just because I have the trio and I think those two are very similar. So this one can go. I'm not going to swatch this since it's not opened. I'm actually going to put it in my never been tried makeup. So that way I actually use it and it doesn't just sit here and not get used. I feel like I'm actually doing a thousand times better than I thought I was going to do. Let's grab these. Burt's Bees, and this is in Rare Peach. So, Rare Peach or Bare Peach? Bare Peach. I'm gonna declutter this. Don't know when the last time I wore it. It's not something that totally blew me away when I had it. This Flower Beauty one in Peach Primrose. Everyone loves this blush. I do like it, it's very soft. So this one can stay. This Too Faced, this is like a, so this is a Sweetie Pie and it actually, it says bronzer on here. I might put this with my bronzers. I think I even said that last time and then I didn't. It looks like this, this is one of my favorite products from Too Faced. It definitely needs to go in the bronzer drawer. It looks like this. I don't know what it is, but I love this so much. Whenever like the Dior has this too, when it has like these little pink shimmer like running through it, that is my jam. I love this bronzer so much. We're gonna move it though out of here. And then here is the MAC Cosmetics, the collaboration with Patrick Starr, and this is in I'm Not Blushing. So it's kind of like a duo. Swirl these together. 
I'm gonna declutter this. Again, it's just not something that I wear. I just, I don't reach for this blush. So it is going to go. I'm not gonna keep things that I don't wear. Let's finish up this row here. So I have two of the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur, and I have, so Coral Cloud and Blur the Buff. Here is Coral Cloud. And these, I guess, are kind of, they're like a creamy powder. And then here is, what is this, Blurred Buff. Both of these are really pretty. I'm gonna keep both of them. They are newer to me and I haven't used them that much, so they can stay. These two Physician Formulas. So I have Vintage Rouge and then Plum Rose. So Vintage Rouge looks like this. And then Plum Rose, Plum Rose, right? Yep, Plum Rose looks like this. So, okay, Plum Rose can go, Vintage Rouge can go in the maybes. I have two from Essence. These are the Satin Touch blushes. So we have Satin Coral and Satin Love. This one is Satin Coral. These again are blushes everyone talks about and I just never really got on board with them. I do like this bottom one. Okay, so Satin Coral can go, Satin Love can stay. And then these two, can't get rid of either of these. So this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Just a cult classic and for good reason. I love this blush. It is just fantastic. This is like a better version of Orgasm in my opinion. It's just great. Then this one is the Ciate London and this is in Date Night. I don't think you can get this anymore, but I can't get rid of it. It is actually like one of my favorite blushes ever. This formula is so underrated. It's so smooth. It has just the right amount of sheen to it. This is such an underrated blush. I bought this because Taylor Wynn, she reviewed, I don't remember what color. It was a different color, but I ended up getting this one and I do not regret it for even a minute. I love that blush so much. All right, we are getting through. Let's do half the stack. So this is the NARS Eardem blush in Love Me Not. This is so just old, but every time I wear it, I can't get rid of it. Here it is swatched. You can't really see it too much, but it's there. It's so stunning. It's so subtle. It's so pretty. I love this on the cheeks and it was limited edition. I just can't get rid of it. It's so dirty, but I love it. I wish I had bought more from this collection, but I didn't. I'm gonna try and clean it a little bit, but this is going to stay. We have another NARS blush. This is in Cult Classic Orgasm. Um, looks like this. Again, I just like Luminoso so much more. I feel like I do need to keep this just for references. I'm going to see if I just have this in a NARS palette though. So I will be back. Okay, I do have Orgasm in like a face palette from NARS, so this is going to go. I don't need that in a single. This is the Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush. So let's swatch this right here. I don't have too many of like these apricot colors. Man, the lighting is not great, is it? But it... Mm, I'm gonna put this in the maybe, I think. We have two high-end blushes. So this is Chanel in Tweed Beige. I just recently got this along with that Chanel bronzer. It is one of the most stunning Chanel blushes I've ever seen. It has like that classic tweed on it. It was really pretty on the cheeks. It definitely is glowy, but this looked so, so pretty on. I have to keep this. It's the newish blush that I've gotten. 
Then we have one of the blushes. This is Nude Venus from Pat McGrath. This is one of her single blushes. If I can open it. So this one is Nude Venus. I really wish that... I hate it when like they don't open all the way. I don't know, does that just bother me? So here's what Nude Venus looks like. This is obviously going to stay and this pink box is everything. I try not to keep packages anymore because I used to really fall into the habit of keeping all the boxes, but I would never use them. However, when the packaging is just prettier than the actual container, I do keep it as long as it's easy to access and this is. So this one is going to stay. This is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. So super popular for a very long time. Looks like this. Um, it does still smell fine. I kind of want to declutter it. Every time I use it, I like force myself. I'm going to do it. That like even surprises me, but I like that other Too Faced one better and I just, I don't reach for this. I reach for so many other blushes. So this one can go. I'm sorry, Mr. Peach. And then we just have this little section here left. So let's do this ColourPop one. This is the Super Shock Cheek in Between the Sheets. Let's see if it's still good. It is still good. I thought I was gonna declutter this, but since I'm letting go of that Too Faced one, I think I'm actually gonna keep this because this is the only super shock blush that I have. So you ma'am can stay. Then we have two of these. I want to say they're like little Lancome blushes. I have Rose, Rose Fresque and Sheer Amorous. So these came in like some kind of free something when you bought so much with Lancome or Estee Lauder. I'm not sure. Is this Lancome or Estee Lauder? It'd be really nice if like they put it on there other than like their little logo. So you could know, but why would they do that? This is the Sheer Amorous one. This one can go, I've held on to this way too long. And then this is Rose Fresque. So that one looks like this. First of all, they're super similar. This one's just a little bit cooler toned, if you can tell. And this one is more warm toned. Let's see, we'll put them next to each other. So, mm, I kind of don't have anything that's like this cool toned pink. I kind of like it. I'm gonna put this in the baby. I just have these little mini ones. All right, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in Rosy. So I did have this in a shop my stash recently. I, I like this blush. However, I don't love this blush. So it's gonna go, it's very light. It's not a bad blush at all. I just think that our time is finished. This Huda Beauty Glowish one, this is in Caring Coral. I don't think this is a coral color. To me, this is just way too bright pink bubblegum fuchsia, but to each his own. I'm not, I don't make makeup for a living, so who knows. I am going to keep this, I really like it. I recently did a full face of Huda Beauty. I will link that up above as well. And I did really like this blush, so this can stay. This one, ooh, I love. This is the Surratt Beauty in Chaleur, which in French, fun fact of the day, means heat. And this is just a really, really nice blush. Surratt is just a nice brand. I wish I, I really need to like purchase more from them. So this is going to stay. I absolutely love this blush. I also like how small it is. I like that like you can pop this out and put it in a Z palette, but I like that it has this cover on it in case you want to just have the single. Sometimes when you buy like singles that are meant for like a big, large Z palette, they don't have this option to like keep it just separate. So I like that they do that. All right, this is just a little mini NARS blush in Gooly, Gulu, I don't know. Looks like this. Everyone and their mom probably has this from becoming VIB at Sephora because that was a gift with purchase, or not a gift with purchase, but it came as a gift if you hit VIB status. And I've never used it ever. So you can go. 
I'm so excited. We just have these little mini benefit blushes. So we have Gold Rush, we have California, we have Dandelion, and we have Rockateur. So let's swatch all of these. So here they are swatched. Here we have Rockateur, here we have Dandelion, here we have California, and here we have Gold Rush. Off the top, I don't like California, that can go, and I don't like Gold Rush, it's just too shimmery. Dandelion and Rockador, I think can stay. I'm looking at my piles and I'm happy with where they're at, so these two can stay. So let's now reorganize my drawer, see where we're at, and then we'll go through the maybes. There's only four, so Let's just speed through me kind of putting this all back in the drawer here. Okay, can you even believe how much better this looks? I can't believe it. So let's go through the maybes and oops, we actually have five. Five maybes and then we will add up the numbers. So I think I need to get at least rid of two. I think I'm gonna keep the tart one I'm gonna get rid of this Estee Lauder slash Lancome one. We have no idea. I'm going to keep the Butter Blush and keep the NARS and get rid of the Wet n Wild. All right, let me add these in here somehow and then we'll go over final numbers. Okay, so drawer is done. I can't believe it. I have all this space here, unbelievable. And so we started with 48, but just as a recap, this one is going in the bronzer drawer and then this one is going in my trying new makeup because this is not opened. So we actually had a total of 46. I am decluttering 21 and I'm keeping 25. I really like my in head goal was to get rid of a third and to get rid of almost half. I just, I am at a loss for words. I cannot believe it. So this is where I'm going to leave the video. Stay tuned for the next one. I don't know when it's going to go up, but it will be highlighters and face palettes. So stay tuned for that. If you like declutter videos, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.